Merry Christmas! Hi guys! My name is Sola and I'm, and I'm going to be doing another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to be coding because I haven't done it in a while. And to, and you know, you know how the last two episodes, well, you, I never did like fun stuff like, you know, when are you going to use the dance in regular survival? Are you ever? Probably not. But I'm like, there's gonna be tons of useful stuff you can do with coding later. Like, you can get free stone, or you can get free wheat, and you can make like tons of farms. And today, I'll, I'll be doing the chop tree program. So I'm gonna run it right here with my axeman. Uh, you can see that it has a pickaxe, uh, because that's my first one. And although it says axe man, it, it's using a big axe. So I'm gonna write chop tree like that. And then it should be chopping a tree like that. And it's gonna go all the way up to the uh, end of the tree. And then it's gonna come back down. And it's gonna give me all of the logs. So it's it's nighttime, so you can't. Okay, so the axeman came back, and also I like how uh, it's like it's like sort of based on Christmas, it's like yeah. And I also noticed that uh, uh, this was uh, the survival inventory was like a present. I thought that was really cool. Uh, yeah. So yeah, and it gave me. Uh, 18 pieces of jungle wood and you can do this in survival too if you like make the program and it's going to be super duper useful because there's a lot of stuff that's hard about cutting a tree like it's slow it uses up the it uses up the durability of your tool and also you're going to have to build up to to, to like destroy the whole entire tree and this Solves all the pro problems. It destroys and it it gets destroyed in one. The logs get destroyed in one click. The pickaxe never loses durability, and also uh, it can just go up without like building or anything. So I'm gonna go to Safari and show you. So. Right here is the totalappstore.com and that's weird. It's time to put your new programming knowledge to the test in the world of Minecraft. We'll program the first total to drop down all the wood blocks of a tree. And this is a picture of uh, four totals uh, breaking a jungle tree, like a tall one. And yeah. So this is how it works. The total is there. It goes in and breaks it, and it goes up, and then it comes back down. And this didn't, you don't want to write a program like this, because, well, the program might be easy to understand, but the total can only chop down trees that are exactly four blocks tall. And, well, you're gonna have to like, make one, one for three, one for four, one for five, one for six, and and also one tree could be like a hundred blocks tall. And also, it's wasting a lot of uh, time, so it's not gonna be good. You can just make one program and be done with it all. So, isn't that nice? So this is the program. Uh, it's twenty six lines long, and I'll. You know, you know these little two lines? Those are just the notes, so you don't have to write them if, if you don't want to. And the, and the tweet. So the total dot detect function returns true if something is in front of the total and false if there's empty air. So if it doesn't detect something, like, so if it's not right in front of a log, then there will be an error and it will say that a log is invisible or something. So that's what it does. And then 
I'm gonna go down over here. So, the order of the values doesn't affect what the expression is. You can also use and with more complicated expressions such as the following. Like that. So my name is all and their name is Bob. All equals all and their name equals Bob. <laughs> it's pretty simple. So let me scroll down. Uh, terminating for program for the error function. Let's return to the chop tree program. If nothing is in front of the total when the chop tree program runs, that is, if not total.detect on line 4 is true, the problem will terminate with an error you can call error function with a string argument to terminate the program early and display an error message. So, so you know what you did wrong if you got it wrong. Because if you didn't know what you got wrong when you like didn't do it correct, uh, it'll be like a hard time figuring out what you got wrong. Okay, let's scroll down a bit more. Wait. Oh, okay. Uh, so where is it? Uh, mining blocks with a total digging function. Is the not total dot detect condition on line four is false? That is, the total does detect something in front of it. Then error won't be called. So, yeah. If there's a word block in front of the total, it won't be terminated. It'll just keep going. So, um, it might also say the total needs a digging tool. So, if it if it just has its bare hands, it won't be able to break anything. And the total dot compare function compares the blocks that the total is facing with the block that the total's current slot. If they're the same, total dot compare returns true. If they're different, total dot compare returns false. The total.compare up and the total.compare down function do the same thing except that they compare the block above or below the total. The while loop that begins on line 15, while true.compare up do, uh, as long as there's word above the total, the program will keep executing the code in the while loop. And if, if it like, doesn't find any logs above it, it'll come back down. And that's basically the function. And there's a bonus activity. Create a program that makes the total dig a deep hole instead of chopping up a tree. And I didn't do it, but I might do it after I, I do all the other codes. So that's basically how I did it. So, I'm gonna make the time, oh, wait, something's wrong. Slash time, slash time set day. Maybe, okay, you know who cares. So I'm gonna get oak saplings, ugh. Wait, what's wrong? Okay, I'm gonna go to decoration box. Oh, okay, oak sapling. I'm gonna get some spruce saplings, boat saplings, jungle sapling, yeah, like that. And and also, I always need my bone meal. So bone meal right there. I'm gonna. I don't need all this stuff, so I'm gonna put it away. I definitely need my axemen. So it's becoming daytime, so I don't need. I didn't really need the code. So let me place it and then let me place, let me give it bone meal and that's an oak tree. Now let's do it with spruce over here. And it's a nice old tree. And now let me do it with the birch. Okay, that's a good old birch tree and the jungle. And that's a jungle tree. And also let me let me go to decoration blocks and get myself an asylum sapling and a dark oak sapling. 
So let me place it right there and give it tons of bone meal. And then finally, my dark oak one. Give it bone meal. Come on, why are you so... You need so much bone meal. What's happening? This sapling is annoying me. Okay, it needs so much bone meal. Okay, if this doesn't work uh, this time, then, uh, you know, I'm gonna, oh, my bone meal. Okay, the, okay, the dark oak one is taking way too long, so I'm not gonna use it. So let me test it to see if it actually works with normal trees. Axe man, chop tree. And it's chopping down the tree. It works with all of them. So let me just test it with the oak too. It works. So I'm gonna uh, let you see the program. And if not total.detect, uh, Elwo could not find tree. So if there's no oak log in front of it, uh, it's gonna like stop. And then the, and then if it can't dig, then it will say total needs a digging tool. But it has a tool. It's a pickaxe. You should always use axe in survival. But okay. And then uh, what total dot compare up do? So if it so uh, you know it compares what it has in its slot to what's above it. And then if it's the same, it keeps going on. And and if it doesn't see anything, it comes back down. And then uh, if it's finished, then it says done chopping tree. That's basically it. And I hope you liked my video. Um, I covered chop tree. Uh, I know uh, it isn't like the Christmas day yet. It might be when you're watching, but uh, what do you want for Christmas? Just wondering. I haven't chosen. I just get what Santa wants. Well, what Santa brings to me. And I'm always happy with it. Uh, yeah, so Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and bye-bye.